Canadian Bulldog here from Wrestling Merchandise and Memories. That's merchandiseandmemories.com. And welcome to another edition of Card Corner. Now, what we're going to review this time around, they aren't cards in the trading cards, but they are cards. They're photo cards. And these are WCW NWO superstars from Panini. Uh, this is circa 1998. I recently picked these up at a collectible show uh, just outside of Toronto uh, called the Awesome Toy Show. And I picked up two packages of these, so we're gonna look at 12 cards all together. Um, just looking at the back here of the, the package, you get six per package, obviously. And these, uh, they're 108 different photo cards to collect. So we're not gonna get them all today. Uh, we're not gonna get anywhere close, but uh, I figure this is a good sort of sampling to see what, what's in the collection. Uh, Panini is the company that currently produces cards for WWE right now. But even, you know, way, way back in the day, even before these photo cards were announced, they produce little sticker books, and I believe still to do to this day, uh, including WWF Superstars stickers that you put in a, sort of a, a special book. Um, so Panini has a long history in this game, but but certainly with wrestling, uh, you know, they may not have the same heritage as a Tops or something like that. But uh, you can see here on the cover, we've got the Wolfpack Sting twice, and uh, Bill Goldberg twice, Hollywood Hulk Hogan and Kevin Nash. So some of the top superstars of this, uh, towards the the peak, I would say, of WCW, uh, for sure. So we're gonna open the first package here, and let's see what's in this package of WCW NWO superstars. All right, so the first card, a photo card in this series is The Public Enemy, Rocco Rock and Flyboy Johnny Grunge. Or Flyboy, sorry, Flyboy Rocco Rock and Johnny Grunge. It's been a few years since they've been in in the spotlight and you can see them they're here in the background of monday nitro and then on the back it just gives the number of the card uh, number 49 for those who are keeping track i don't believe these are stickers they're just they're postcard size or, or photo card sized exactly as they're they're advertised uh so we'll put that down the, <laughs> the next one <laughs> is the public enemy flyboy rock a rock and johnny grunge again different pose um, so at least these these aren't doubles, but that is kind of interesting that these are the first uh, two cards out of the gate. This is number 50, so right after that one. I wonder if these are in any kind of order at all. Uh, I mean, I will say the quality of these these pictures is is especially for WCW is is top notch. Uh, they have a nice like sort of photo like uh, thickness and cardstock to them. Uh, so not a, not a complaint. Just interesting that the first two were the Public Enemy. Then from there. It's not the public on enemy. It's me. It's me. It's D D P. Diamond Dallas Page in his absolute peak of uh, WCW. Here, this is where he's he's facing Hulk Hogan and he's teaming up with Carl Malone and Jay Leno and the like. And uh, he is number thirty-four in the collection. And then we've got Buff Bagwell, and I'm not sure who he is is choking out there it's hard to hard to see the person has some sort of a uh, i don't know what that is a shoulder plate or a purse or something like that they're trying to get buff's uh, head uh out of the out of the, the camera frame but uh, buff bag well nonetheless number 59 next up oh i like this one randy savage and bret hart two of my all-time favorites this looks like this was some sort of a live event, just the, the photo quality is not as, as good as some of the studio shots, but still nonetheless, uh, this is you know very interesting pairing for WCW. And that is number 48. And then, once again, we've got Diamond Dallas Page, the people's champion. He's kind of just shrugging his shoulders, like why the hell are you taking this uh, photo card of me? And he is number 33. So that's the first package. Let's hope we don't get any doubles uh, in the next one. We're gonna open that up. All right, the second package starts out very strong with Bill Goldberg, the man, holding the WCW World Championship. It doesn't get much better than that. 
Uh, excellent studio shot of Goldberg. And this is number seven in the collection. Then we've got another buff bag. Well, this is a studio uh, photo as well when he's uh, part of the NWO. And he is number 57 in the collection for those who are keeping score at home. And then this was certainly not on my bingo card uh, when I was when I was predicting who I'd get in this, but Jim the Anvil Nightheart and uh, just you know a good a good studio photo from fairly late in his career. And uh, this is number 60 in the collection. Did not predict a Nightheart. I will say that. Then we've got Rey Mysterio Jr. Uh, in his his WCW peak. Very underrated star in terms of WCW lore, I will say. Um, but uh, loved him in this era, of course. He's number 73. And then, I believe two cards left? We do. All right, the next one is another Goldberg. This is, he's sort of crouching down and looking kind of pissed off at the photographer here. I don't know if that was a choice or he actually was. You, sometimes you can't tell, but good shot of his tattoo. Like again, all of these photos are, are excellent quality. This is number 10 in the series. And then the last one we're going to look at today is Scott Hall, the bad guy. And uh, he, that that's, I've never seen this photo of him. Like usually during his WCW run, he had his vest or his NWO t-shirt on. Looks like he's wearing, uh, I was gonna say a ring, but it's just like some tape around his his uh, ring finger. Um, flexing his muscles, a good, a good picture here. And this is number 40 in our collection. Um, yeah, so overall, these, I'm just gonna try and get them in order here. Put them all together. These are bad at all. I, I, it's certainly worth the money I spent. I didn't spend a lot of money on them. The only thing is I like to collect my uh, cards in, in binders of various sizes. I guess, you know, I can still, you know, look at a, a proper photo album from years gone by and that might sort of get me what I need, but I only have 12 of these, so I'm not sure I'm gonna invest in a photo album just for these ones. Still, it's an interesting conversation piece. It's WCW era merchandise, which we collect. Uh, if you see on our website, we have a WCW Wednesdays feature. Um, so, so definitely, I'm glad I've got these in my collection. They're anomalies, and it was fun to sort of go through these. So for Card Corner, I'm Canadian Bulldog, and we'll see you next time.